Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome back to the Truth Talk podcast. I'm joined by Jose from The Jose Show. What's up, guys? In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Bad Bunny and the Latin music industry. Let's get right into it. Bad Bunny has become the biggest artist in the world, not just in Latin music, but across all music. It is also reported that somehow, Bad Bunny has one of the greatest deals in the music business, with an unheard of 90-10 split, meaning Bad Bunny makes 90% of all his money his music generates, which is a lot considering he got over 18 billion streams like I have already said before, Bad Bunny shows openly that he sold this soul and took the oath. We already know on this channel that you don't reach the level of success Bad Bunny made it to without aligning yourself with the Masonic Order. We spoke about Bad Bunny's music video for Yo Perreo Sola in the past, where we can see him showing that he's a Masonic puppet. There's a point in the video that appears to show Bad Bunny again, dressed as Baphomet, while he is chained to a woman with horns on her head. This entire scene is questionable, as what's the purpose of showing Bad Bunny chained to what appears to be demons? The video also shows Bad Bunny's true purpose in the music industry, which is to manipulate his young fans. At the beginning of the video, we can see a boy in his room playing when out of nowhere, something pops up on his screen. He touches the screen, and the video begins with Bad Bunny dressed in women's clothing, wearing all red. Clearly, this scene represents Bad Bunny manipulating his audience to follow the agenda. The video shows children being manipulated by their music. Throughout the video, we can see Bad Bunny with the one-eye symbolism once again, letting the world know he sold his soul. I am not surprised that Bad Bunny, being the biggest artist in the world, is being used to push the Little Nas X agenda. Just like Little Nas X, Bad Bunny looks and acts like a complete different person from when he started in the industry. It appears that a lot of things he does nowadays is to push a specific agenda. The Little Nas X agenda is being pushed stronger than ever, pushing these concepts on children they have no need to be thinking about. We know what effects this music has on children that listen to it. Bad Bunny shows too many times that he is a Masonic puppet. Time after time, we see him showing his alliance with the one-eye symbolism. Even at his Latin Grammys performance, we saw him again performing in front of an all-seeing eye. I believe it's also important to note that Bad Bunny actually has a close relationship with Alex Gargola. See, Alex Gargola is one of the pioneers of reggaeton music. He's responsible for artists like Daddy Yankee, Nicky Jam, and Arcángel. He has worked with many of the legends of reggaeton and is still working in the Latin industry to this day. Alex Gargola is an open Freemason and on many occasions has shown love to Bad Bunny. See, in this photo here, Bad Bunny just so happens to be dressed like Baphomet. And Alex Gargola reposted this picture on his Instagram page. In this Arcángel and Alex Gargola video, we can see Alex Gargola and Arcángel doing a blood ritual. The video starts with a group of what appears to be vampires, when one of the vampires pours some of their blood inside of a glass. They then take the glass over to Alex Gargola, who just so happens to be standing doing the Masonic hidden hand pose. He then takes the blood and drinks it. Openly, they are showing a Masonic ritual and showing that Alex Gargola has power over these artists. I've said this multiple times before on this channel. I don't think you can get to the level Bad Bunny's on without being aligned with some very powerful people. Me and Jose have had this conversation before. He doesn't necessarily believe there's an agenda behind these artists. He doesn't necessarily think there's people controlling these artists. Yeah, no, I think that they uh, definitely do things for, for clout. There's a lot of money behind it. There could be, you know, some small agenda there. But in the end, you know, it's all about the numbers. You know, these guys, Bad Bunny had one of the biggest years of his life. Uh, I think uh, he even caught Drake's attention when he saw his numbers and how his uh, concerts did. So he does do a lot of the things that you say he does in these videos. But I also think that is to make money. So what you're essentially saying is that you think it's for, sho for shock value, correct? Yes, yeah, for shock value. I mean, a lot of times, if you see when this video came out, one of the biggest things was that he was dressed as a woman. The reason why I say I said that very point right there is because I'm one of the people that go against that very point, the shock value point. The satanic imagery has been shown in the music since way before Bad Bunny's time, since before even hip hop was a thing. It's been alive since the 60s, correct? In rock and roll, a lot of the biggest rock bands were open satanic, especially with the imagery that they'll put out there. At what point, if this has been going on since, since the 60s, and we can technically say most people are desensitized to this type of imagery, at what point does it not become shock value? You know, because at this point, the audience is used to it, so they're no longer shocked. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's, you know, when you look at the the things that are happening with uh, Balenciaga and the fact that this video came out before that, um, 
Bad Bunny was accepted in this video with a lot of people. So the people were, weren't were as shocked in a negative way with this video. They were kind of shocked in a positive way. Obviously, Bad Bunny is well connected and is at the top of his game. So, you know, pretty much everything that he gets, he's thrown out there, uh, it gets accepted. So I guess they do use him as a puppet to capture the audience and feed them whatever they want because right now bad bunny can sell anything and you see you're, you're technically agreeing with me to an extent that he is a puppet and i want you to see this point right here what is the reason in the middle of the video after they showed them that he's obviously influencing children that was the whole beginning part of the video him the little kid in his room bad bunny's video pops up he's engaging with the video and they're showing bad bunny showing this imagery we have no problem with anybody doing what they want to do with their lives it's just the influence i don't think that that needs to be shown to a child none of it should be shown to a child whether it be male female 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 male male it doesn't matter i don't think these concepts should be introduced to a child at an early age children should have the time to you know grow up and when we get to the point where towards the middle of the video what do we see bad bunny doing bad bunny is literally chained to women who have horns on their heads while he has a skirt on and this is the same skirt baphomet wears i've shown this several times while he's acting like he's demonically possessed he's over here you know literally chained to this this imagery what's the purpose of this imagery you can say it's for shock value like you said but it doesn't make much sense for this song what does this song have to do what is him dancing in this position chained to demons what does that have to do with the song that he is singing in the moment that's a good point there he definitely is a puppet in this game you know i i would definitely agree with you on that um the, the way I see it is that these guys, in the end, are, are looking for staying relevant, staying at the top of their games, selling record. And with that comes a lot of gateways in, in their lives where they probably, you know, don't control a, a lot of the things that they do or say at this point. I think he is definitely just playing a role. That There's a lot of videos that show satanic imagery or what I call Masonic imagery that we can see across several videos, you know, throughout the industry that most people consume on day to day and they don't even realize it. You know, I have to literally point out there's literally a pentagram on the floor. And people then say, oh, yeah, you're right. There's a pentagram on the floor, even though they've watched this video 50, 100 times. I don't think that people are shocked by this imagery anymore. I just think that it's a part of the of the imagery, whether it's the artists themselves that are doing this or it's a hidden hand behind the artists that are basically guiding the artists to do these certain things, how they want them to portray themselves, how they want the music video to come out, how they want the songs to come out. Because like even you said, he's definitely a puppet being used to push a specific agenda. And we can see that. I call it the little Nas X agenda, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and it's a subliminal messaging. Uh, you know, uh, back in, in the record days uh, where we used to play records backwards and things like that, they would have a subliminal message that a lot of people didn't know was there. If you look at the video, you can point out these things. And and I, I think that after people view your videos and they see, wow, there is a lot of truth into this and, and what what he's speaking, because look at it there. The information is there. What what happens is that a lot of people overlook it and just, you know, feed into what everybody else is doing. People sometimes think, think OK, well, it's OK to wear a dress or, or things like that or or individuality uh, to a certain extent. But you got to understand that this message is now being pushed abroad to the largest audiences that we've ever seen in the world. You know, now these puppets are more important than ever, I would say. Well, yeah, and of course, someone like Bad Bunny, who's the big... Bad Bunny isn't the biggest artist in Latin music. He is the most streamed artist, period, right now, of all genres. You know, he he's a top-selling artist with influence across several countries. He definitely has more influence than Drake right now, believe it or not. That's why I think that it's a 50-50 deal, because the guy's making... You know, tremendous amount of money. He's at the, the top of his game right now. He's he's taking deals left and right. So obviously, a lot of those deals can be things that he may be aware of or may not be aware of. But I know that in the music industry, once you get to that level, you definitely have to give something up. My point for the Bad Bunny situation, because it's not to judge Bad Bunny. I just want people to be aware. You understand? I want people to determine if they want this music to affect them or not. You know, because at the end of the day, what we consume is what it's what makes us. It's what builds our personality. And this is what we get from consuming Bad Bunny's music. Now, 
Another thing that we see consistently in Bad Bunny's image is the eye. You know, there's an interview where he has the eye, you know, put on his forehead. He's has several pictures where he's covering one eye. We also see him perform at the Latin Grammy Awards in front of a giant eye. If you see all his looks throughout from the moment that he started his career and, and where he had those pictures with the all and I, you can see him um, change the way his character evolved to now what we see today where he's actually displaying more of that more frequently, right? Of course, it's more frequent and it's the agenda that he's pushing is more obvious. When he did his performance, I think it was the BET Awards, right? Where he was on stage with the dude. We have nothing against this, but it's just that there's no reason for it. There's a bunch of kids that are there watching you and you just start doing this out of nowhere. It just doesn't make sense. I wouldn't see the reason for this. Right, he has the fame. He's already got the numbers. The lyrics are are there. Exactly. What's the point? What's the point of shock value at that point when you're already the streaming billions of streams? Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I agree with you on that part. Now, that the the whole thing where he's an actual Mason, I, you know, he hasn't publicly come out and said that he was like a lot of other artists have. So I that's the, the one part where I wouldn't agree with you that he is. But I do think that he is he is told what to do, how to dress and how to portray himself. He may not have a lot of control over his brand anymore, and therefore he has to display these kind of things, uh, which is what happens to a lot of these artists, slowly discovering that um, through the information that is being you know, actually uh, laid out there for real. In a way, I could agree with you. I personally believe that Bad Bunny's an occultist. I believe that he is a Freemason, but I could also see your point where Maybe it's not Bad Bunny. Maybe it's just the people pulling the strings, like we said earlier. And that makes that makes sense. It could possibly just be the people in control of Bad Bunny, but that makes Bad Bunny a part of it. You understand? That still says, Bad Bunny still says, I know I'm a puppet. I, I'm going to get up and be a puppet every day. I'm going to push this agenda that's going to be devastating to our, my own people. That's not going to be good from our people. And I'm going to do it for money. And I'm going to do it for fame. You know, it's either, either way, it's still selling out. Yeah, it is selling out in a way because it's sad that that people get to that level where the money is so important to them that they end up doing things that they don't totally agree with in some way, shape or form. So you, when you see videos like this, start looking at, OK, what was the point of this video? Was the point of this video was to shock the public on Bad Bunny dressing up like a woman? Or was it to uh, display these hidden symbols? Bad Bunny was showing his alliance to Baphomet. I believe masonry is in the core of, of Latin music. And if we look at what Latin music pushes, wouldn't you say that like a lot of the stuff that the music pushes itself isn't really something positive for our community? Absolutely. I mean, and in, in, if you even look in the Dominican Republic, uh, they're even trying to pass laws and in some other countries on the type of language that is being used in the lyrics now. Uh, because they're they're super they're getting too explicit and they're pouring into the culture in a, such a negative manner that they're actually going to create laws to control that. To add to what you were saying earlier, you're in the video where he's doing all these uh, different scenes of Joe Perreo Sola. There is a scene where he's dressed in white and you can see all the black lines. So it's a black and white with all this black. Uh, lines going through the scenery in the background and then it cuts into that one scene where he's chained up with all the women so it's interesting that you bring that up because if a, a regular person watching the video is not going to notice what the meaning of those things are because obviously they don't explain them to you but it's very interesting that you bring up the whole black and white uh, uh scenery and then you see that it cuts into the one part where he's chained up with all the women i didn't notice that I didn't notice that it went from the, the black and white. I do remember later in the video, that's in the same place too, where he does the Masonic all-seeing eye. It's like, it's like he's doing this out in plain sight, but people are not getting the message or some people are. I believe in, in some way, shape or form, he has to either be a supporter of it or part of it to do these kind of acts and videos which have no actual you know meaning to, to the video or what he's trying to... Um, you know, uh, express lyrically. It's good that we're getting to a mutual stance, even though we might not necessarily agree on everything. You do like the music that these artists produce and you like to go listen to it and enjoy yourself as long as people know what effect that this can have on them. This way they can block that effect. 
if you know that this is negative, now you know, hmm, let me make sure that I don't follow what this artist is saying. I'm not trying to live like this artist is saying. It's an agenda to get me to do certain things that I shouldn't be doing. You get my point? I don't want to tell anyone to do anything with their lives. I just want people to be aware and to realize that there is these things that are questionable and that point to only one thing. There's only one thing that it points to, and it is to the Masonic Order, in my opinion. But do you have anything else to add before we leave? Yeah, for sure. Everybody hit me up at Jose Show. Very simple. And basically, my content is about travel, is about myself, uh, giving my opinion. You guys come check out my channel and see what I have to offer. I'd like to definitely keep you guys up to date what's happening in the Latin community. You guys go check them out on YouTube. Make sure you guys show them some love and thank you all for showing up. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I just want to give a special shout out to the Truth Movement members. I truly appreciate every single one of you. If you'd like to further support the channel, join the Truth Movement, or you can join me on Patreon where I drop exclusive videos monthly. The link would be in the description. Another way you can further support the channel is by checking out the Truth Fist store and seeing if you find anything you like. Every purchase you make goes directly to helping the channel and furthering Truth Records. Also, please leave a comment on your thoughts below and on any future topics you would like to see me cover on my channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when I drop new videos. If you like this video, please leave a like as it helps other people find these videos. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram and follow me there for more truth. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.